Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Yaxity Gaming, everybody, as once more it is time we pick up our Toronto Blue Jays 2016 roster simulation here in MLB six, or 15, the show. So if you're new to the channel, of course we do this every second day, so make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the series. Without further ado, we've got Jesse Chavez going to the mound against Chad Bettis, both pitchers pitching ERAs in the 1.0 range so guys this should be a stellar matchup for pitching of course that could have been just two good performances from two okay mediocre pitchers we both sit third in the respective divisions we have a 1.59 ERA which is helping with our low batting average whereas the Rockies have an inflated batting average uh, mediocre pardon me and an inflated ERA. So, wearing the road blues, let's see if Chavez can pull something out for us. Uh, we have player locked as absolutely everybody except Kevin Pillar in this instance. So let's get into it with Pillar out there in center field. See if he can pull off some spectacular web gems for us in this episode 9 of the Blue Jays series. Here we go, Chad Bettis, Jesse Chavez. You see Chavez came out on the losing end even though he pitched 7 strong with a 1.29 ERA. So the Blue Jays need to get their bats going in this one and Kevin Pillar is going to be up to bat after a Ben Revere flyout. So here it is, one out on one pitch for Chad Bettis. Ah, he's not going to get that second out on that second pitch. That curveball is way too far out of the zone. And Kevin Plar wisely lays off. He's going to foul this one off. He could have driven that one nicely to a gap or something had he not been late on that one. But just a tad late makes it go foul. So pitch number three of the at-bat. And this is going to be fouled off. This one's skied into the first baseman's glove. And Kevin Pilar on Jackie Robinson Day flies out. So let's simulate ahead to Kevin Plar, once again batting here in the top half of the fourth. We now trail one nothing to the Rockies, so again our bats aren't getting it done. But you see Battis misses outside with another ball. So two straight at bats, he starts us off 1-0. And then we'll fall off the changeup as we were way too eager on that one. We were trying to rip that one right up the gut through Battis' legs. And this is going to be ripped down the third baseline, but just that tad bit foul that everybody knew they didn't even have to move. So come on, Kimplar, two strike approach here, and that's going to be a good solid contact, but it's weakly grounded to the shortstop for oh, number one of the inning. And okay, so Jesse Chavez did his job. Chavez did his job, moved the runners. Obviously, Revere stru struck out or popped out or something, and now Kevin Plar has a position to score two and give us the 3-1 lead. So Kevin Plar, he's looking for that fastball up high. He's not going to get it as that changeup bites back onto the plate, and it's a 1-1 count. Here is pitch number three, and that's going to be fouled off. That was probably the fastball we were looking for. I couldn't, re yeah, it was. It had that late two seam movement, and I just couldn't react quick enough. So come on, Plar. Oh, that one is low. It's 2 2, the count. A solid count for Plar to drive something to the corners. And instead, he's going to chop this one. Oh, Pilar might be safe here. He's going to be safe. And the run ended up scoring, and we take the 2 to 1 lead. Pilar with the absolute ground chop special and he ends up scoring an RBI and getting aboard. And then you see Encarnacion struck out but that's okay. And Kevin Pilar in a 2-2 game now. Fresh pitcher into the game. That is Simone Castro. He is coming in. And here we go. Outside for a ball. Simone Castro with not starting this count off good, but you know what? Pilar hasn't had good at-bats either, so 
Could be nothing. Ooh, two to nothing now. So there you go, Pilar in a two nothing count in a two two game. Two pitches from this pitcher, Simone Castro. And he's going to chop this one down the line. Foul. And that is not quite what we were hoping for. I was hoping it would skip up off the bag and maybe advance us into second. But none luck to be had. And Pilar is late on that pitch. So Pilar again in a 2 2 count. He's been working the count. That's been the beautiful part of this. And he's going to be chopping it right to the second baseman who fires over. And that will end up being the first out of the inning. And Troy Tulowitzki gets aboard. And you know what? We'll move ahead to the bottom half of the eighth inning. Where with a man on first, a dropped ball by Kevin Pillar would end up costing the Jays the game. And this one's going back. This one's going back. Into the glove, into the glove, into the glove. Oh, and Pillar drops it. Like I said, and he's going to toss it into the cutoff man. And that will be a devastating blow for the Blue Jays, who end up giving up two runs. And I knew I was going to end up costing us the game. That'll be, an, that'll be a home run, Devin Travis. Okay, come on, the hope is still alive. That's aboard. Brett Cecil strikes out, and we just couldn't get back to... Kevin Plar, guys, we will end up falling 4-3, to three, so I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Yak City Gaming. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out these playlists to my right. I've got some awesome videos for you to browse through. And if not, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.